Okay, in this video we're going to finish up this drawing, but I want to remind you that for 6.5, the activity that we did in the past, we actually um, refined this piece of furniture. So they're going to be doing exactly the same thing. Remember that you're going to have this top has a thickness and it extends out from the base the, or the, the main part of the uh, piece of furniture. And then the base also sticks out. So remember that these lines line up. This is inset back a little bit. Uh, you can get your middle by putting your X in there, you have your middle, you can get your drawers and then the doors on either side. Don't forget to add the plant and the bowl first before you, you know, have your marker and see the back of it because these sit up in front. Uh, it'd be great for you to put a stripe on both of these chairs. Remember this comes from the vanishing point. This is a vertical line here again. Here's the vanishing point that we're getting here. If you remember, we actually measured these lines here. Um, they were, I think, a quarter of an inch, and but all of that came from the vanishing point. We built, we um, added this chair over here. So we've got both chairs, that table that you can refine like we did before. Let's add a couple of things to this. One is the um, pieces of artwork that are in the back. And what I did, since this is the back wall, and again, it's measurable, I've got my scale, and I've started in the, in the middle here, and I, these are each going to be to scale two feet, and then there's one foot in between two feet, one foot, and two feet. So these are two feet, two and two. They come up. I actually... Um, just put them a little bit above the chairs themselves, and they're mm, about four feet to scale, but I also have them a little bit further down from the molding on the ceiling. So go ahead, use your straight edge, uh, and you know, do a little measuring here, half an inch in between. And so we're gonna have these, um, let's see if I can add some marker to this. So the, the pieces of artwork are canvases that are hung on the wall. I'm going to practice my freehand drawing here. You're welcome to use your tool if you're more comfortable with that. Sometimes it's fun to practice, especially when you have the lines there and they're straight. Remember, we want to be touching each of the corners. You want to be looking ahead as you draw. Now, these are just flat. They're not to perspective. So let's think about what we need to do to create a perspective. I'm going to come over to this one on the right. From the vanishing point, we're going to see this side right here. So this is what I'm going to do. Come back and forth. And then here, the piece of artwork has depth. We wouldn't see any of the sides because it would be in the back here behind but we certainly do on this side, the left side again, from the corner back out, both, and then I'm gonna estimate that depth. Okay, terrific. So, here we go. Practicing my freehand. The other thing I wanna show you is what I like to do for uh, the artwork itself, and this you'll see in the book. Uh, this piece of artwork was a triptych that uh, was in a garden, and so I have a very fine pen, and I'm kind of just suggesting uh, trees and um, possibly some uh, ground down back here. I can use... Um, Okay, I've got dots, I've got little lines. I like to take the texture to the corner. It's very important to me that uh, it go to the texture. I mean, to the, the texture goes to the corner, sorry. I mean, making very much sense here. I'm gonna make this a bush. Uh, oftentimes I'll be looking at a piece of artwork and see if what I call, I can abstract it. Actually, the art goes on the side here as the canvas is wrapped. Okay. 
So I try not to make it look like it was very quickly done, although you can see how quickly I am doing it. Okay, a mountain scene would work too. Great. All right, let's also add some molding. Okay, all ceilings have molding. I'm going to estimate that thickness. Notice how this is going to be my guide right here. Those two points, where am I going to get that from? The vanishing point. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put that vanishing point in there so I don't lose it. So here we go. Here's molding. And as a matter of fact, we would see a little edge underneath that molding. Here we go here. Terrific. All right. So before we add the molding on the floor, I want to extend this room. I want to create a, I want to show a door in this room. And this isn't something that's in the book, but it is something that I would like for you to understand. So let's take a look at this floor plan. This is the floor plan is done on grid paper that uh, represents the two chairs and the table, 10 feet uh, wide, and then five feet out, there's a door here, and the wall extends right along here. The key part about this is we're gonna take this line in our drawing, and we're gonna make it show up the same line across here. Um, what we're doing is we're thinking that this person is standing in the room right here looking straight on, right? Because our vanishing point is right there. And then they would see into this room a little bit right here. Okay, so let's, let's do that. I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to come out. And what's interesting here, um, I, want to, I want to make sure that we can see this. So I'm going to make the door. This is not measured. It's estimated. I'm going to make the door so, it, so the chair isn't bumping into the door. But it's on the, uh, and there's my point. I'm going to come up. Be sure you can still see this. I'm going to move this just a little bit. Great. So here's my first line up. I want to, the door's going to be seven feet, five, six, seven. Maybe I'll make it six and a half right there. Back to the vanishing point. I'm going to put a guideline right there. There's the door height. So here we go. This is actually going to be molding around this. So I'm going to create a little bit of a thickness here. Here's the molding. Comes up above here. Let's see. Okay, and then there's also to make this a little bit thicker. Now here's an interesting line right here. This parallels this, so it's going to be straight. And then these angles are against are against the wall coming from the vanishing point. So that's there's our door opening. We can make a stop this drawing here. I don't know if you can see that. Let me again move this over here. Sorry. Here we go. So the drawing basically stops at the end of my page right here. Okay, now here's what's interesting is we are, as I mentioned, looking into this, we're standing back looking into this room. We would see this floor right here. So here we go. Here's our floor. Remember how it just goes right across? Bingo, right there. I'm gonna add some molding. So that's what gives us our floor on the, in the other room. And I'm going to erase this. So there's also some uh, text, there's some wood on the floor. And we can do that wood either horizontally or vertically. I'm going to actually add some wood horizontally that would be underneath here. 
Now theoretically, the wood gets smaller, the thickness of the wood gets smaller as we go along, as we get closer. So I can estimate that a little bit, having these planks. Remember when we look down the railroad track, <laughs> they get smaller and smaller. So here's my room. I'm gonna put in some lengths of the wood. Now notice I'm whoops, supposed to be coming from the vanishing point. That didn't quite work out very well. Here we go. Let me get my triangle. Okay. And then I like to make these planks arbitrary, I think, uh, so that, and then I would continue to add. And you'll see in the book, I also like to add a little wood grain. You can play around with if you want to. Now, which is great about this, this is pen is losing its ink. Can you see that? But it's kind of working as far as being able to add some texture. Notice that each plank to me has a different pattern. Right. Okay. So we were able to add a very large door, it looks like. Uh, we got our artwork up there. You can finish this out here. You're going to find, too, that there is um, some paneling. And if you make each panel one foot, look what I can do right across here. This would be measurable. And again, use your tools. We can get this is uh, representing just a thin line here. Okay, so we're gonna complete this across and you can see a, a picture of that in 106. And then what happens here is we're going to estimate these panels getting a little bit larger as they move out from the wall, and that's going to be an estimate. Go to my pen here. And I'm kind of going to do this as I go. I'm adapting this as I go. Great. This is measurable. This is estimated. This is estimated. These come from the vanishing point. Terrific. Thank you.